Good evening, good afternoon, good wherever you are in the world. I'm Kalori Coles, and we are going to do another edition of Inktober. Uh, two of my drawings I did not film. I had a session with one of my mini cuddlers where I drew for them, and I drew day four and five with them. So I will show you day four and five. So here's a recap. We have day one with Ring. Day two, day three, here is day four, which was Freeze. I drew May from Overwatch. She's pretty much a icy, horrible lifer in there. But she shoots ice and everywhere and she freezes you, so I figured she'd be perfect for this. Uh, the next day, day five, was Build, and I drew uh, Felix, I think that's his name, right? The dude from Wreck-It Ralph that builds everything. I think, yeah, his name's Fix-It Felix, so I've made him. I guess he doesn't really build stuff, but whatever. And today, for day six, is Husky, which I have a little bit of an outline here, um, which I wasn't trying to make a precise outline because I planned to make this a Zentangle. So, without further ado, with my pencil. Here's the pencil. We're going to defin define the lines a little bit. These have our confirmed shape. What I plan to draw with the lines. But yeah, I plan to make this a Zentangle. Um, I've been having a lot of fun doing different animals in that form. Or in that style, you could say. You could call it a style. Oh, I guess it's a style. So I'm pretty much going very literal here. I mean, it's a husky dog. Hopefully, people get that it's a husky dog. I think when I color this, I'm going to do, I guess, very wintry colors, maybe. I don't know how you could identify with it husky. I mean, I guess I could use the colors of a husky when I color this, but I think maybe sticking to some icy tones might help too. Because generally you see those types of dogs, you know, playing around in colder weather. Not to say that they don't run around in the warm. I'm just saying when I see pictures of them online, it shows them playing around in the cold. Now, this part of the snoot, minus the nose, I'm going to literally probably keep it untouched. I might make, um, oh, I'm going to get the eye holes drawn. I might make another layer. So that's completely untouched. I'm gonna map off what I want to be solid white. I think I'm gonna do like that. Make the third line be As I said before, the reason why I draw a lot of chippies is because I find it very freeing and liberating. I feel the same about Zentangle. It's very crazy, I guess you could say that. Not that there's no rules, because there seems to be rules to it.
like what obviously will make it a Ventangle versus what doesn't make it a Ventangle. Now I feel like this looks like a peach. Alright, I think that's a pretty good idea of what I'm doing here. So, I'm going to use, you know what, I'll use this. I want to use this Koi brush pen, it's water-based. Um, I want to fill in the lines that I just did here, and then I'm going to go in with my combo and other um, pens to do my little designs in between. That and this is a little more oomph to it because it's a brush pen. So I can go in and color this eye black. The only thing I planned on making solid black outside of adding a flare to the ears. I really like this one. The tip is a little more um, firm. I have these, a Tombow brush pen, and I love it. It's just, it's more like painting with the brush than it is a brush pen. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. It has its purpose. I just haven't found its purpose yet. I think I might just do this on the outside. I might make some lines stick. Give the drama. We want some drama on some of these. Uh, all of these will be colored. Those videos will be available in um, November. Obviously, I have to draw all of these first. Uh, some of the videos will be colored on live stream, on my Twitch, and others will be done as YouTube videos. Either way, all down below will be my information. Now I am uploading this onto two different YouTube, my main YouTube, I get the most volume, and then my artistic one. If you like what you see, by all means, follow both of them. Alright, I'm going to use a different line now. Uh, I'm going to go in with the my Tombow calligraphy pen. Cannot tell you what this is because it isn't all in Japanese, so... I just know it's Tombow and um, the choreography pen. That's the only stuff that's in English. I'm gonna actually try and use the, the Tombow. It has two tips. It has a bullet nib and then the brush pen. I'm gonna be using the bullet nib. And 
that is essentially the outline. Now I'm going to zentangle this. Um, so this is where I want to start to just do all the little designs and doodles and whatnot. I have a unique way of how I color ones in tangles too, so it will be fun to showcase that. But this right here is my favorite part, the design part of this. Well, there's also the, um, the other part that I do when I actually get to coloring it. How I do the background essentially. I put like different drops of paint everywhere and then I shake the entire piece of paper around and splatter it everywhere. Or I'll put drops of it everywhere and take a spoon and smack it. This is so freeing. So liberating. The best part is when I get to color it next. I have a unique way of how I swap over. Oh, I forgot. I for oh, here's the lid. I was like, oh, God, where's the lid? All right, let's take the micron pen and let's draw a little line thing here. Go back to using this one. I used the brush side that time.
gonna go in with the micro pen. And that is our Zentangle until it is colored. So, thanks for watching. Stay cuddly, my friends, and see you guys in the next adventure.